All right, third graders, today we're going to do some review. In my first few lessons for you guys are going to do some review of things that were just a little bit harder for you um, when we left. And so hopefully by reviewing, uh, this can answer any questions that you or your parents may have. So first today, we're going to review how to change measures and how to solve measurement equations. So remember, when we're changing measures, we're looking for larger to smaller or smaller to larger. Something's going to change. And if we're changing from a larger measure to a smaller measure, we're going to multiply. If we're changing from a smaller measure to a larger measure, we're going to divide. So let's take our problem, 20 pints, take away 3 quarts, equals how many quarts? First, we need to identify what needs to change. Which one needs to change? If our answer needs to be in quarts, then which one of these is not in quarts that we need to change? Yes, very good, the first one. So we're gonna write blank quarts because we're changing it to quarts, and this stays the same. Take away three quarts equals how many quarts? So remember, when we know which one we're gonna change, we're gonna put a box around the one that we change so that we remember that these are the numbers we're working with. Now we're going to write one, two, three, because each of our measure changing measures problems involves three steps. The first step is to find out which direction we're going. Are we going here from larger to smaller or are we going from smaller to larger? We're looking pints to quarts. Which one is larger, pints or quarts? Yes, the quartz is. So this one is smaller. So we're going smaller to larger. So we're going to divide. Number two is what's our special number? What number are we going to divide? How many pints are in a quart? Yes, two. There are two pints in a quart. Number three is where we're just going to write our problem. We're looking only at the numbers here. Remember, we're not looking over here yet. We're in this side right here. That's why we write our box, so we know where to stay, what numbers to stay with. So we're going with just the numbers we see. So we have 20 divided by 2. Now we're going to solve our problem. 2 goes into 2 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 taken away 2 is 0. 0 is smaller than 2, so now we can bring down. Can 2 go into 0? Nope, no times, so 0 goes here. 0 times 2 is 0. Take away, 0 take away 0 is 0. 0 is smaller than 2, and we have no remainder. So our answer is 10. So then we're going to take our 10, and we're going to write it back up in our problem. Now we can solve our problem. We've got 10 quarts, take away 3 quarts equals how many quarts? So 10, take away 3 is what? Yes, 7. We write 7 here, and we write it again on our original line. Now let's come over to this one. 5 yards plus 12 feet equals how many feet? First we need to identify what needs to change. Our answer needs to be in feet. So which one of our two measurements are not already in feet? Which one are we changing? Yes, very good, we're changing the five yards. So we're going to change it to feet because our answer needs to be in feet. So we have blank feet plus, we just rewrite this part, 12 feet equals how many feet? This is the one we're changing, so we're going to put a box around it so that we remember that we're sticking with this. This will help it stand out to us so that we don't go on to a number we shouldn't go on to. Now we've got our three steps. One, two, three. Our first step is to discover, are we going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? We've got yards to feet. Is this larger to smaller? Or is this smaller to larger? Yes, very good. It's larger to smaller. 
larger to smaller means that we're going to multiply. So we're going to write this on our number one so that we know what we're doing. Number two is our special number. We are going to look how many feet are in a yard. Very good, that's three feet in a yard. Now, we're using our numbers. Number three is just writing our problem, using our numbers that we see right here. We're not gonna let our eyes wander over here. We're not worried about these numbers yet. We're only looking at these numbers right here. So we're gonna make our multiplication problem using the numbers we see here. Five and three. Five times three. What is five times three? 15, very good. So there's our answer, and our answer goes back up in here. Now we can solve 15 plus 12 equals how many feet? What is 15 feet plus 12 feet? Very good, that's 27. And you're gonna write your answer at the top as well so that you have it in both. 